And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Lufia Restored. Last time we got ourselves a bunch of Illumina. We only need one more and apparently we need to go up the river to Herod to uh, get one more piece of Illumina so that we can fix our boat. Also, J-Pop is here. Hello. Hello everyone. How's it going? Um, so we got a bunch of equipment that was not upgrades. So you should probably sell that before we run out of room. All this silver stuff. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have sold that silver rod, because it, it technically is an upgrade for Jaren, just that her current weapon hits everyone, so... Don't really want to get rid of that. Yeah, it's hard to get rid of that. It, it's just too useful, you know, yeah. for... Getting your quote unquote half hits, you know, to finish off enemies, it helps ensure that. And... So, before I uh, go forward, I do want to go back to the Isle of Forfeit. Because now we have a straw doll, and I think there was someone asking for like a. Uh, like a needle and a straw doll or something. Was it like at the church or something? It was around back, I think. This guy. Right. A long nail or a straw. Yeah, we have both of those things. We make two voices of death. Sure, that sounds exciting. Whoever hears the voice of death will be doomed to darkness. Wow, that just killed the music. Ominous. Uh, so it's probably, yeah, death voice. We have four of those now. Oh, we already had a couple of them. Alright, so we have more of them. Now we, now we know what, uh what they were uh, offering. But like, the, the thing is like that text says like, um, it says one or the other. It doesn't say one and the other. Yeah. yeah. Eh, English hasn't been the strong suit for me. And I requested this, so <laughs> it's, it's right on target. <laughs> Uh, this is really hard to do, actually, with uh, the fast speed. I'm actually shocked you didn't fall onto land at any point during that. So am I. <laughs> yes, this is the Kingdom of Herat. I immediately get accosted by these guys. Was trying to see if there was anything over to uh, over to the left. I should say the west. The west left. The west left and only the east was left. That's confusing the thing I just said. And you're not my brother, because I get East and West mixed up all the time, and there's an inside joke where we, where we one of the, one of somebody goes, I thought you said Weast! Weast. That just, ma just makes me think of, uh, in, uh, in one uh, year of Desert Bus, there was, uh, someone having a hard time singing a song and, like, forgot how the melody went, and it's was like, this song is in the key of J. <laughs> That's a SpongeBob joke? I hate this joke now. I hate SpongeBob. That's right, I mean, Internet. That's, I don't like SpongeBob. That's reasonable. I'm not a fan myself. Never was. 
I only watched it because my son liked it. <laughs> Yes, the king has been collecting Illumina. Surely he can spare one piece of it for, uh, for our boat. That's what kings do, right? They, they give away stuff for free? Uh... Well, I was... I, I pulled from Tales of Symphonia where if you're the fake hero, yes. You're the, f you're the real hero. No, and get thrown into jail. <laughs> Did you just steal her apron? Apparently. Does it say "kiss the chef" on it or something? Protects clothes and co while cooking and looks cute. And also a rod, which is like the first weapon that Luffy gets. Now I feel bad. No, it's not like he can put it back. This girl's about to go on her own adventure, and you just robbed her of it. Literally. I'm sorry. I have a problem. <laughs> I, need, I need to drink this liqueur and forget about my worries. This one's empty. Okay. Let's see. RPG rules state that the husband is at the bar getting drunk oh. and refuses to make armor. This is the basement armor shop. I see. Ton of gold. Yeah, the, well, that's uh, you know the one advantage of not really knowing where the hell it is that I'm going is a lot of running around and you know getting experience in gold. Sonic shoes, Sonic shoes, Sonic shoes. One less point of defense, but also a bunch of agility, so I'm gonna get But yeah, that was a crap load of, uh, of upgrades, actually. And oddly enough, none of- oh, actually, yeah. Wait. Really? Okay. <laughs> This is my punishment for picking up that rod and apron. Now I'm full of stuff. <laughs> Wait, that rod sold for 2400 Did I make a mistake just now? Was, it, was that a bad move? Uh... Have a scroll of identify. That doesn't Maybe exist we're in the wrong. Game. Maybe we're in the wrong game. Quick, bro. Name name a name, name a staff in in Diablo two. It could have been. The uh, one to all necromancer skills. Oh, Roger, <laughs> that was the Roderick staff. You've doomed us all. Stay a while and get fucked. least if it is something that uh, that is actually a lot better than I thought it would be I can just get it back from the uh, from the Isle of Forfeit. 
Like, that is like the big feature of this game. There's a place where you can just, if you sold something that you didn't want to sell, you can get it back. I like that concept, and I think it would be nice if most games did, did that. Okay, what do you have to say about dragons? Take a dragon is a small shrine west of here, and your wishes will be granted. They're, they literally are friggin' Dragon Balls. Look at that. Why do you think I was calling them that? They are Dragon Balls. Rod attack power is 75. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big number. Um... I mean, it's not as big as uh, the Cuddlewick is. Anyway, let's go see the king. And you have all of the Illumina, we just need one piece. Oh dear, the king's in a bad mood. That's, uh, that's not, uh, that's not yeah, a good sign. He has indigestion. We need to cure him of his indigestion. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion. <laughs> Shift from Leiden was here. I mean, you might not be way off the mark with the indigestion thing. Maybe these purple moots are, uh, we're not with an army, bud. To guard them with your life, then how about you? I'm this is a stick up. I wonder for rooms like that, like say if, if somebody hacked a, uh, a, a no clip so you could go in there, I know that you would find nothing, but wouldn't it be weird if it was full of stuff? Yeah, th this game has already proven that chests can just be empty. Ah, you're right about that. It's like, th this place has all of the king's treasures. Actually sucks to be you, there is no treasure. Oh wow, delicious! It's strange. Mm, what is it? Strange! Jelly! Oh yuck! Don't let people eat this! Ah! Hey, Jelly Elf, how was it? <laughs> Jelly Elf, do you think I ate this on purpose? Oh, cool, yo. Aw, oh, girl, you hurt Jenna's feelings. How could you? Just a little joke, that's all. A joke. Uh, Jaren, no one will call you a Jelly Elf anymore. No, oh, I know, cool, yo. <laughs> Jelly Elf. Eh. Oof, ya. Yeah. Well, you always pay attention to Jaren. Why don't you ever notice me? Baka. It's not poison. You won't die if you eat it, you know. Why are you cooking with jelly, anyway? My king loves good food, but he's been so picky re recently, it's really starting to annoy me. What are you gonna say? Oh, uh, no, I just added a Baka at the end of that line. Ah, Baka. Hey, Gamba, how you doing? Steal your X bomb. How do you feel about that? Use the X bomb on the king. Being so so grumpy lately. I'll deal with it my own way. Julio's gonna give him explosive diarrhea. Oh! All the Pepto Bismol in the world isn't gonna help. Don't steal my Xbox. See now, now I'm just thinking uh, there is a ZZT game that um, that was made fairly recently, and um, 
you go, you eventually go into this uh, thief's hideout and you can steal all the stuff they have. One of the things they have is a Nintendo Switch. If you try to steal it, like, basically goes, no, you're not that cool. Does not let you steal it. Biden's wizard of taste. Also, the, the, the structure of these places is kind of weird sometimes. Uh, just various staircases that just kind of lead back into each other. Alright, Kingy Poo. Everything I've eaten recently tastes terrible! I give my jewels for some delicious food. That's it. Okay. Like that it's such a weird thing. It's like we we get we just go talk to this random NPC and we actually get a cutscene. We go talk to the king, which is who we need to talk to. He gives us one box of text and that's it. Efficient! How about a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Let's see, was renamed King Gordon. I'm afraid I don't get that one. Anyway, someone mentioned a wizard of taste in the light. Oh, Gordon Ramsay, gotcha. If that's the case, we can just feed him an idiot sandwich. Like, yeah. Ah, it's the town of Cooks, I see. I forgot that, uh, that this was a thing. Yes, there's a man called the Wizard of Taste, but like, where is, where is he? Purple Newt. How many well he could taste, can he cook? One would hope so. Master returned, but he couldn't find anything there. What? King Herod said he wanted something to eat? Now that's the king I know. Do you know King Herod? He is famous for his appetite. He's eaten almost everything I've made. Are there any dishes that surprised him recently? Well, there's one, but it's not really a dish. What is it? It's a flavor. A spell that has been cast on it. That's, with, uh, that's why any food tastes great with it. Fantastic. Don't jump to conclusions so quickly. You think the dish is good, but that doesn't mean it is good. So you're saying that even dishes that everyone hates would actually taste good, right? Right. But that's amazing. Why did you make such a thing? It was originally for emergencies. You use it when there's nothing to eat, like a famine. I see. I guess it has some uses. I sympathize with people. The king's appetite was becoming intolerable. Such tastes are expensive, aren't they? I don't mind. Can I have some? To tell the truth, I haven't really finished it. I need a purple newt. I heard I could find one in the, case, the cave east of Herod. I went there myself, but I didn't see any. I could finish this if I had a purple newt. And same cutscene. Cool. Alright. 
the MSG spell. I'm glad we get to sit through this entire thing again. Alright. So now I gotta go to the cave east of Herod. The MSG spell, nice. Monosodium glutamate, or as some, pe some people might call it, E621. No further questions. I call it delicious. So let's go back to Herod. That's a good SCP. SCP, good to go, sir. I see what you did there. Uh, so there's a cave over there, but... Uh... Oh good, we get ambushed. But it is technically east of Harrods, but like, how do you even get there? Due to the trees. I'm just saying that because it's lined of course. I mean, it, it is as valid of a response as why, why don't you go talk to that sick guy over there? <laughs> I'm glad you said in a nicer way what I thought in my head. As in, I thought in my head was, I gave an asshole response. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, this is, uh... I'm studying the map right now and trying to figure out, like, what's the next move here? And I think what I want to do, maybe, is warp to Baka. You know what I said? And, uh... It's... My part of the problem with this map that I have is like everything is really small. Oh, okay. Like, I think the, we're looking at the same map. This was made in the. Uh, let's see. 2009. The map is 2009. Yeah. Okay. So, I actually think you need to go to the Dragon Shrine. And that's also a possibility, but. Uh, Oh, there, there actually is uh, a water in left here. I think if you r walk that way to the east, you'll find that there's a bridge, so that would block your path via boat. Possibly. Yeah, there is the bridge there. Unless there's like another way around. There's another bridge there. Either way, I see it. You need to go back to the town that you came in, 
go up the river a little bit, get off west, and you have to go down, below, and around. Because there are bridges that will get you to that land mass. Okay, the town that I was at, do you mean Baku, or do you mean... Oh, Herod. Oh, okay. Um... North... Herod... I'll just stop by and just refill my, uh... My magic, because I, I have cast, uh... A couple of warps at this point. Have you saved recently? That's probably a good idea, too. <laughs> okay. Yep, and just go west, west, south. Now I wonder though, like, can we go, because I'm looking at the map here and number 48 is the Dragon Shrine, and we have all the eggs, but I'm wondering if that's somewhere that we can go now. Yes. I mean, obviously we can reach it, but like, can we, like, access the inside? I imagine so, because Lufia... In my memory, which is these two games, uh, you tend to find the Dragon Shrine soon after you get your the last Dragon Ball. I know what I said. Yeah. Um, and if you went through and got every treasure chest, it seems to be part of their ML. Fair enough. And let's go there first. Because we got all of them. Alright, chat, put your wishes. Put your wishes in the chat. I thought this was gonna be a whole thing, but apparently it's just we go and talk to the dragon. So, you have eight dragon eggs. Tell me what you want. Raise everyone two levels. Give each the. I, I imagine this means three of each source. A might shield or a might bow. New dragon age. I'm kind of leaning toward a might bow personally. And my it, memory serves that that's what I would choose as well. Yeah, that that I imagine is probably going to be. Um, oh my goodness, I'm blanking on her name. My bow is 148. That's probably her, uh, her ultimate weapon, I imagine, right? Usually, yes. We're doing okay on levels. I don't really want to you know, load myself up with sources. Yeah, and it's also an all attack if I remember right. Yeah. Zircon Rod is a bit stronger with single target. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Might Bow. I will give you Might Bow. Dragon eggs were scattered around the world and placed in different treasure boxes. You must bring me eight more eggs if you want other wishes to come true. So you can do this again? Yes, you can. And I believe Lufia 2 has, quote unquote, a dragon radar. I forget what the name is. But basically, when you go into a dungeon or into somewhere, it will, it will, you use the item and it will ping for every treasure box that's unopened in that area. So in theory, if you go through every, get every treasure box, then when you have this item, you go through everything again and ping to try to find the Dragon Balls again. 
Luffy 2, you can fight the A Dragon? Is that true? I don't think that's true. But yeah, that... I mean... He was a boss. It's... Apparently. Oh, he was a boss? Ah, that, I, I forgot. But... That's why I call these Dragon Balls. It's exactly the Dragon Ball. Uh... Except that there are eight of them and you don't have to wait a year for them to recharge. Yes. They're like on steroid... Well, they're not steroid Namek, which is like a third of a year. And three wishes. Yeah, the... Because I, I think the whole thing about um, the... Uh, the dragon, like, whatever dragon was summoned by the Dragon Balls was, like, determined by the host's strength or something. Did I got that right? Mm, I'm trying to recall. So, like, Ka Kami was really old, so, like, uh, he only was able to get one dragon, one, uh, one wish. I mean, they make up power levels, so I mean, like, yeah, sure, whatever rules they wanted to go by. In Dragon Ball Tyrion, the strength and rules of the Dragon Ball depended on the creator, right? Yeah, the Nambic one had three wishes. Dende's had two. Ooh, we got a Morning Star. Is that an upgrade? I'm not gonna find that by going to Magic. <laughs> that is definitely not an upgrade. Wow. I mean, that's not gonna be an upgrade for you either. That is a take up an inventory slot item. Pretty much. You know how much I love those. <laughs> Hoarders like us? Yes. It's it's our nature. You can have the egg dragon join you after you beat him. Oh jeez, what happened to Agra? I read chat and then I looked back and Agra had 36 health. Uh he got hit by the not so strong morning star. I guess it comes down to how you use it. Agra levels up. Power source and a miracle. boxes here and there's probably going to be like a uh, trap hole or something. I was I thought you were going to say ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> I don't think there are any tricks in these boxes. You think that next time there's nothing in there. I mean, at the very least, the worst thing that there has been in these boxes is nothing. Uh, no drop downs. There is, however, these three manticores hiding in the corner somehow. Look at them, they're scared! Look at how the way the arms are like, no, not us! We wanted you to just walk by! Uh, you monster. You're the real monster here. Jaren learns mirror. And Look at Julio learns yourself monster. in the mirror. Look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror, you monster. Damn. There's a portal there. There's a staircase here, which will lead to this revive. Wait, the shortcut is in the- ah! 
Okay. Lufia with the cleanup sweep. Let's see if there's anything here. There is a charged newt. I don't think that's the purple newt that, uh, oh, there's a bunch of these. Three charred newts and a miracle. I guess we can, uh, I guess we can resurrect one of these newts then. <laughs> And another charred newt. Stone cure. Oh, we've already been there. Stun arrow. I wonder if this warps us to that other path that we just saw. I don't know where this is actually. Death arrow, we've been here before. It's not specifically like here, here. Oh! An engagement ring. Bye! Wear this when you shop for a discount. It's kind of late in the game to get this. But uh, we'll hold on to it at the very least. Doesn't seem to have any stats though. Look at this bunch of trolls. There's Zero, there's Gamba, there's <laughs> Edge. Well, the middle one was Gamba, he died first. And the left one must be Edge. Switch. Sure, let's lower this switch and forget that I've done that. Also, basilisks. Basilisks. Um, <laughs> basilisks. Kind, kind of worried about these guys because uh, basilisks generally tend to be an enemy that uh, turn people to stone as uh, we get a stone cure which kind of uh, reinforces that uh, that thought that I just had. Don't you find it weird that in RPGs a lot of enemies will carry the cure that they uh, of, of their primary danger? Stone cures, a lot of poison monsters have poison cure items. I mean, to, like, hey. to be fair, like a lot, a lot of the time when you need to come up with an antidote to something, you need to actually start with that something you're trying to counteract. That is true. Although, one thing that I will say is that uh, the enemy in question probably isn't, you know, carrying around the actual, like, cure item. You probably need a, a minute or two to actually, like, synthesize the antidote. I just what went in circles. Video games! On the internet. Who would have thunk it? It's more likely than you think. Consult a doctor to see if video games are right for you. It's always kind of something that that. Uh, that I kind of joke about is like, ask your doctor if Proxenol is right for you. At the end of the month, go to your doctor and say, all right, let's start going down this list. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there we go. Boy, I can't wait till we get to the V's. Hey, Purple Newt. We did it. I didn't say what you think I said, Google Assistant. <laughs> Anyway, we found the item that we're looking for. Let's get out of here. Does it begin with a V? <laughs> See, I, like, one thing that I don't get with the Google Assistant is, like, by default, it makes no noise when you say its activation phrase. So, like, in, in order to make it make noise, you have to basically go into the app and look under accessibility options to turn on that sound. So if it's not really an accessibility option, that should be just standard. Anyway, let's go talk to the Wizard of Taste. I can remember where he is. I'm just curious, asking for a friend, have people hacked like Alexa and whatever to give different voice uh voices to oh, them? Probably. It just seems weird that there's no customization to That's a purple newt. Wait, I'll fix up a dish right away. Take this! I guarantee that it will satisfy King Herod. Who gets the magic flavor? <laughs> Turns out it's water! Ordinary water! Yes, ordinary water, laced with nothing but a few spoonfuls of LSD. I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> You can have accent with different, uh, with different voices, uh, you know, with the voice. Huh. Yeah, like, de depending on, um, especially, like, which, uh, region you're in might be a different voice. Like, I think if, um, like, there are some regions where the Google voice is going to be, uh, masculine. Let's go, let's go talk to the Picky King. Here you go. Uh, Do you have to give it to the chef down below to give it, or... Do you have to go to the, the chef with the LSD? Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably need to talk to a chef somewhere in the castle. Yeah, we saw him. We, we have the thing now. Who do we talk to? magic flavor made by Leiden's wiz Wizard of Taste. Just a minute. I'll just whip it up right here. It's done. Please try it. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Yes, really delicious. This is excellent. What's the matter, Jer? Don't you want to try it? Uh, no, not right now. The king will love this. You've been a big help. Please see him. I know he'll reward you. Life could be so easy if I could always have this flavor. Alright, Kingy Poo. 
I heard about you from the cook. Thank you. My jewel collection is in the basement. Please go there. Why is the castle theme, like, half of it is just so menacing sounding? Please, come inside. And as it turns out, we just get all of this crap. Ooh, a dead voice. Liquor! Let's, let's see how many of these that I can pick up without having to... There we go. We got the Illumina, which is the main thing that we need. I think you already... No? Okay, Holy Sword is not enough. As far as uh, equipment, that's it. So, what do I get rid of? This mystery pin, Cures Paralysis. I haven't really been using these, uh, I think I can just buy these anyway, so... Yeah, we got so many rings, I should probably get rid of some of them, honestly. <laughs> Fight. Fight your... your... Mock heroes. Uh, royal statue or status? You have to fight your horde mentality. Do it. <laughs> Let it go. We lose some more defense, but gain a couple of. We. Hmm. But we don't gain as much agility as we lose defense. I don't know if I want that. Shall I flip a coin for you? Nah, I think I'm just gonna pass. Also, I think I'm gonna... I kinda wanna sell the bunny equipment so that if I really want to get it back, I can go to the, the owl forfeit. If it, I think if you drop it, you just don't get it back. But... but bunny! But bunny! Bunny? Is chainmail an upgrade? It is not. I can probably just buy those if I really want them. For a frying pan and a saucepan. Cool. Alright. The way that you say that, you make it sound like I'm gonna fucking go to jail for stealing everything in there. Now, what you didn't know is that if you kept the apron, equipped the saucepan, uh, it's a set that gives you plus 50 to all stats, you know, but it's too late now. Oh, it's not too late. I sold them, so they went to the Yellow Forfeit. Um, don't think that was an upgrade, was it? I can probably start getting rid of some of these earlier rings. Like the blue and yellow ring are like the green the green ring is just the blue ring plus the yellow ring. 
And the purple ring is just the blue ring plus the red ring. You could have sold we have a the high nail. guard ring, so we don't need the guard ring. You should have sold a long nail and a uh, straw doll. Oh, heck, you should just sell one of the uh, death voice thingies, and then so you could buy like all of them. Death voices. Now, I mean, you were you were here for that, right? Uh, if no, we get the, uh, the the long nail plus the straw doll equals a death voice. Oh, you can't buy more than you sold. Okay, never mind. It's not how I thought. Yeah, that that's also a thing. We tested it. We I I sold a uh, uh, foul water and then tried to go buy like several from uh, the yellow forfeit. You know, you can just sell. You can just buy as many as you sold. Ooh, I mean, okay. That's a lot of money, actually. Well, we have the money now. The bow of this legendary is sold! <laughs> sold! And now I'm gonna build hotels on it. The most cheerful death song that you'll ever hear. It was more like a victory tune for me. I mean, I, I guess it depends on which side of the transaction you're on. Also, the game never liked Zero. I would always roll in between his properties and then he'd land on mine. <laughs> Wasn't Silver Robe new? I don't think it was. I think we already have Silver Robes. Or not. Uh, I don't think it was new. I could be mistaken. You know what? Let's go to the Alla Forfeit and find out. Um... That was not an upgrade. I do appreciate that this store has a look mode. It'd be real annoying to have to... Like, was that an upgrade? Was that not? And you have to buy it to find out. Let's check the rod while we're here. Yeah, that definitely had an upgrade. I, I already knew that it wasn't, thanks to, uh, I think, Zero said so. But, uh, good to have that confirmed. Okay, so we finally have our seven Illumina. And now I just need to remember where the, um... Brush. Go see Brantu. <laughs> I, I don't think Brantu is who we need to see. Carbus, I believe. Go see Brandy. Oh no, Coolio! The, pres the professor went to I, to, I guess, Ice and Island alone. I wouldn't want to go there. The pirates kidnapped Lou! He went to the tower and tried to rescue him. Okay, so in Westerly of the Fargo Isle. Isn't that Fargo movie like the guy's looking for a treasure but it was like stolen by pirates or something? I don't know. I've, I've never seen Fargo. I've seen a movie based on Fargo but I've never seen Fargo. I need I haven't either so I know nothing. Oh, and that's the pirate's tower that we were at that I couldn't do anything at. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the movie. 
but it's like it's a story about this uh, this lady from Japan who watches Fargo, uh, takes it for a documentary, and then goes to Fargo, North Dakota to find the treasure. Sure enough, she doesn't find anything. I just need to remember where that... Uh, I think it might have been on the other road, actually. Also, I bought all of those um, sweet waters. I should probably make use of them. Big hit on Lufia. But Jaren finishes the job. Also, just to show how good I am at following chat, I just saw that uh, that message years later. King Gordon has ommed his last nom. It's pretty good. Oh, look at that. The buttons are up now. Sirens blaring. Ah, oh, how'd you sneak in here? Shiver me timbers. You'll pay for this. Oh, we got boss music for this. Um, I guess I should probably handle it as a boss then. <laughs> There's something that increases strength. I don't think there it's is. It's either trick or Tree. fake. <laughs> trick or fake. Uh, uh, yeah, Jaren doesn't have either of those. But uh, she does have power drugs. Oh, that is a lot of attack, actually. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. In fact, bottles of rum all around, apparently. Ooh, that's... okay. That's a problem. I mean, I have sleep arrows as well, but uh, I don't think that's going to be particularly helpful against something that is probably a boss. Let's try this x bomb. Puzzle error? I guess probably confusion. Probably. Like the thing that annoys me is like they like our party members don't get waken up by getting hit. Which seems incorrect to me. How oh, that high arrow doing basically nothing. It's so used to, oh. if that's the condition, right, is getting hit. And that seems to be commonplace now, but yeah, I want to say that there were some old school games like Dragon Warrior, um, this game, you know, you can stay asleep through multiple hits before you wake up. Well, Lufia just woke up anyway. I'm going to try, at least, to cast Champion on her. 
And Lufia is going to cast boost, I think. Oh, here comes the vodka. Hog grows up. There we go. Everyone's awake. Also, I don't think I need to worry too hard because, like, these guys are really annoying with, uh, with status attacks, but for the most part, they don't seem to be too, um... Yeah, like, they're like much of an issue. They're like champion monsters. You know, they, they are strong, stronger yeah. monsters, but they're not like full blown boss status. There goes three of them. This guy's just gonna drink himself to death. Ah, let's see what you did there. Okay. So how do we know which is the correct sequence? I imagine the signs along the path tell you. Oh. Well, we saw the signs, but like, I... I don't remember any of them saying anything about what the sequence is. The door won't open if all the switches are already down. I'll look around again, but like, I don't think there was anything that specifically said something useful. I mean, also, we're moving fast. Uh, Hello! Some hero I turned out to be, now I'm the one who, who has to be rescued. Please find the prison key. The, pr the head pirate should have it. Ah, uh, there we go. You must press four switches to open the door. Get the order right. I messed up and got caught. I learned the hard way. I'm sure the first switch is the upper left one. Well, that's something at least. Uh, still a one in six chance. Also, very loud cars outside, apparently. Water is pretty effective. Huh. I mean, it's one in one chance with this walkthrough I have. Oh. Uh, let's, you uh. The, the door won't open if all, four, if all four switches are pressed. So we don't press all of them. I think that's a bad translation. Maybe. Like, basically, you can't do this yet until the game oh, says you can. Oh, yeah, when, uh, that's what it meant earlier. Like, all the switches were already down, and so we couldn't actually... Okay. Yeah, just, I feel like this is just, like, a trial and error thing, and I don't feel like doing this 500 times. What's the answer? Bottom right, bottom left, bottom, uh, top right. There we go. Thank you. Scary me, scum. Come to rescue the lad, have you? Arr! Don't think, don't be thinking you'll leave here safely. Viking? Okay. I wasn't expecting a Viking, but sure. Um. Power of Inaguro. Um. 
I guess let's uh, let's deal with the ad first. This was the toughest boss to beat when you did a low level one of us. Okay, yeah. That's a bit of a concern, sure. Maybe I should have had Lufia cast boost. Uh, but I can have Jaren cast boost. many options. I don't think coma is gonna affect anything here. You know what? Just for good measure. I might end up overhealing but that's okay. keep checking Agra for spells. Just in case he has that that one super secret hidden spell that like appears every like thousand turns. Like a limit break or something. not have anyone asleep. Also, I didn't realize that Waken affects the entire party. That would have been good to know. Oh, nice crit. Julia falls asleep. Ben Agra falls asleep. Oh jeez. Oh no. This is... I, I can see why this boss would be difficult. No, literally the only thing that I can do is wait for someone to wake up, and fortunately it's someone who has waken. Although, there's also a non-zero chance to just, uh... 
every everyone's gonna wake up here and I didn't need to cast one. <laughs> Well, maybe Agro gets a turn like slightly faster because I did that. Um, oh. Get the liqueur. And that time it just misses everyone. It's so random if it hits or misses. Maybe it's like an all or nothing attack. Um, but I am going to go ahead and keep Luffy mirrored. Because that way if there is a, uh, a file that ends up putting everyone to sleep. Then it doesn't hit Luffy. Aha! That paid off immediately. Man, I wasn't expecting that to just immediately pay off. Uh oh. No, it's still up. It's still up. Oh, I guess I'm just casting Waken. It's definitely a tricky boss, but uh, not too terrible. This is going to be the matter of uh, getting through this health pool. Let's keep that mirror topped up. Fortunately, Jaren deciding to be on our side here. But, here comes another war. And here comes the storm. A lot of damage on Aguro, getting everyone out of confused state, so that's good. Uh, you are going to boost, and you are going to keep Luffy and Mirror. I am glad that Mirror is a fast spell. Probably don't need to cast near this turn. I'm gonna give a liqueur to Aguro. Another boost. Good thing I'm doing a boost because uh that uh, could end up getting pretty bad otherwise. that mirror. A 
Coolio has the biggest health deficit, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a high potion. Now I'll use an X potion, we got honestly. Which is a very good move. I was shocked! I thought the hoarder aspect would uh prevent you from doing that. Sometimes you just gotta use the items. But I need these 86 elixirs, elixirs for, I don't, you know. I mean, you weren't wrong the first time with liquor. Although I like to be fancy and call it liqueur. I grow nearly dead. But the pirate's dead, so it doesn't matter. Booyah levels up. Rufia levels up. Learns Flood. Everything is fine. And I'm stuck in a cutscene so I can't heal myself. Good to see you again, Lou. Do you remember us? You! You! Are you still chasing me? My stealing days are over. Don't be silly. We're here to rescue you. What are you doing hanging around a place like this anyway? Well, you know, I had some business to take care of. Looking for your father, weren't you? No way! I don't care at all for someone like... He's here, looking for you, but the pirates caught him. Really? Father tried to rescue me? Father? Let's return together after we rescue your father. Make sure Agro doesn't die first. With the silver tarot and the pirate key. I want the silver tarot. Holy tarot cards from a lost civilization. Okay. That's probably just. Also, with the royal statue here for that. Idea. Small statue of an ancient prince. Cool. Alright, those two things that we got. just to draw things out and make you have to fight things. Good grief! Thank you! Caught so easily by the pirates, eh? What a klutz. You haven't changed a bit. Huh? Isn't... Isn't that boy... I slew! Yo, Dad! You didn't... You... <laughs> you didn't know it was me for a moment, did you? It's because boys of your age grow so fast, it's hard to recognize them. You can't recognize your own son just because I grew taller? Don't be silly. Stop it, you two. It's been a long time since you've met. Don't start by arguing. Like father like son, eh? Oh, brother. By the way, Rail, we found seven pieces of alumina. Can we repair Falcon now? Of course. So start right away. Please go to lab three. Chest? Please, game. I'm still in back to lap 3. What do you do, Lou? I don't know. Maybe... Go with your father, Lou. Yes, go with your father, Lou. Tell you the truth, I really don't want to go with him, but... I don't know what he'll do without me. You're right. Watch him carefully. <laughs> He'll be good to him, won't you? I'm always good to him. That's true, why don't you write once in a while? Right? You know, I just invented a voice box. Use this and you can speak to someone far away. You won't need letters. Awesome, that sounds really handy. Of course, you'll need a cord to connect them, you see. Why are you always making such useless things? Useless? I don't think so. You can talk to anyone in the world with this. Isn't that amazing? Who's gonna lead the line? Think before you dream something up. Oh, these two. Don't worry. Look, they're laughing. I guess so. 
Like I said, I'll be in lab three. Okay, well, I'm getting that chest, by the way. Oh, right, my, uh... My sweet water ran out. Mm, I shall do... Blast. Hopefully the Rome armor doesn't, uh... Cast Mirror first. It's always nice when you end up, like, defeating an enemy with such a low hit. Because it's, like, the most efficient, like, barely just enough. It's like, yeah, I didn't waste anything, right? It was just perfect. I mean, more like, have you ever played Worms? Worms, Arm like, Worms Armageddon, probably, a but, I mean, it's worms. all Worms. Yes, 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 yes. It's like using Nudge. I only knew... The, the thing is, though, uh, well... Okay, I have more memories of using Nudge, and they just, like, fall down a slope into the water and die. Not, but not, you know, the two points of damage that it does. I mean, yeah, like... I think it does like one or two points, but like, y it can be like either just enough to, to get him down or like also to like push him down a cliff or something, like into a mine or into the sea or Jaren is dead, you know, regular <laughs> worms things. <laughs> I should probably make sure she doesn't die again. Heavy ring. What does this do? I have to wonder how much weight this adds. Increases attack power, but it weighs a ton. How does this compare to the high power ring? Ooh. Okay, let's see. So right now his weight is 257. Let's put on the, the heavy ring. 377. Put that man on Jen, some Jenny Craig. I mean, there was a real easy way for him to lose weight. There, it's all gone. <laughs> Ah, I wonder if I should use that ring, though. You know what? I'm committed to the fact that he is basically, like, our, like, high damage dude. Let's, let's at least try it. Oh right, I can't use the escape spell for some reason. Oh, we can still get surprise attacks, so that's good. It's not like what like Agra weighs so much that we can't even surprise anyone anymore.
Okay, let's go to uh, Carvis and see if we can get this ship underwater. I mean, that's, uh, that's certainly the hope. Me and the Professor are fine. And this, uh... Yes, we do want to try the, uh, magical oil that heals us for free. And I'll save after this comes in. To your father. Good. Let's start the repairs. Cooper, bring Falcon around. Right. Let's go. Professor, everything is ready. Deans like me can repair this in a matter of seconds. Told you I'm a genius. So, can we travel underwater now? Of course! There's nothing to worry about. Climb aboard! Coolio, at last we can go to Doom Island. I hope we'll find the dual blade. Lockin can dive with wherever there is an end. There's a ring sha uh, ring shaped island north by northeast. They say that's where. Uh, that's, uh, they say that's the place where Doom Island fell. The village of Sh so Shet is on the north of the island. Let's go there first. Thank you so much, Professor. Let's go. Well, I was going to save, but I guess not. This isn't so shut. This is Carvis. Well, I guess I can save, though. So. All right. Um so shit. Not seeing that on the map. But uh, the place that they want me to go is going to be up here. Oh, this is a whole ass dungeon, okay. I don't know how we're getting these chests, but, you know. Uh, that is going to go to Lufia. Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, we're playing Dredge. Wow, that did no damage.
There we go. Agro levels up. Be careful not to accidentally use that foul water. <laughs> Mystery pin. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a use item that uh, cures paralysis. Potion. The the items here are not particularly impressive. Why did I tell Jaren to attack there? There we go. Hmm. Still air. Something feels strange. Now the one thing that I'm keeping in mind here is that uh, uh, the professor said that we should go to the town uh, north before we go into here. I'm also cognizant of there's not a whole lot of time left in this session. Spicy. But yeah, when just earlier in this session we were uh, kind of complaining about how these dungeon these dungeons are are all so samey. Finally, we find one that uh, is a lot more distinctive. And also, the chests are closed. And this is the this is obviously the Fortress of Doom. So all all of these uh, chests that are closed, uh, that that are closed, that are empty, all these chests that are empty were probably opened by the party from 99 years ago. That's a pretty good view, actually. Well, interesting that the water is not rushing in. Is this the dual blade? What's that sound? The dual blade, it's ringing. Julio gets the dual blade. What the? 
Sinistrals. No, stone statues of the Sinistrals. Those ones are Amon and Gadius. Good work, looks just like them. That means Dallas and Aram are at the back. Will you come here for a moment? This one? Is this statue... me? Is this me? This is Lufia, isn't it? Why is the statue of Lufia among the Sinistrals? How would I know? Everyone would agree that this is the statue of Lufia. What? Are you saying I'm Sinistral? Well, no, I didn't mean it that way. I'm Lufia. I was raised, I was raised by a Roman at the Alekia Inn. I'm just an ordinary woman. I know nothing about this. Lufia. Coolio, it's true. I really don't know anything. I know. How long do you think we've known each other? You're Lufia and no one else. Coolio. Wait, could this be a trap? Is someone trying to break us up? Pause. Amen, Gades! Maxim's descendant lives. Daos? Is that Daos? Yes. I am Daos. The waiting is finally over. The day of our reunion has arrived. Reunion? Where is Aram? I don't see her. Aram was revived 16 years ago. 16 years? Indeed. Aram is Lufia. Lufia is Aram. Liar! You lie! Lufia, do you remember your parents? Of course not. You have no parents. They never existed. You are Aaron. <gasps> we can use our energy to assume any form we choose. Lufia doesn't remember, remember her parents because they died when she was small. So you say. But why do you think we let you live this long? I am pleased you have brought Lufia back to me. You say. Don't you see? Maxim destroyed us 99 years ago, and our Lufia has returned to life. Lufia's power brought our energies together once more. No! No! It's a lie. She can never revive you, you're lying. Hear me, Moto. Look past your emotion. See the truth of my words. Later, Tyrion. Hope you have a good night. Go ahead, ask her a question. Ah! Lufia, Lufia, speak to me. She is still alive. I only shocked her to unlock the memories. My head, Coolio, help me. Lufia, hang on. Dows, a recovery will take time. We have all the time in the world. Come. An earthquake. No, the fortress is moving. Coolio. Jared, escape! Let's get out of here! Coolio, Doom Island! I don't like the look of this, Coolio. Let's head to the NSO shed. I'm worried about Lufia. Lufia went to sleep. Coolio, about what the Sinister said. Tomorrow, aren't we? I'm tired. I just want to get some sleep. Is this place so shut? I remember now. I fainted. Julio, are you awake? Julio, what are we gonna do? About what? Lufia, of course. What's wrong with Lufia? Stop living in a fantasy! Can you deny what Daos said? What are you saying? Aram's dead. All we have to do is destroy Amon, Daos, and Gaze. I agree, but remember what Daos said about the reunion. Do you think Lufia brought the Sinistrals back to life? What are you trying to say? 
Even if we destroy the three minute remaining sinistrals, they'll continue to return as long as Luffy lives. If it's true, Kaleo, what are you going to do? We have to destroy them. Kaleo, do you realize what you're saying? We'll have to destroy Luffy too. Can you do that? Hopefully, I'm not sure. I never really thought about it. Obviously, I don't want to think about it either. Alright, listen to me. What is it? You think Luffy would try to harm us? Why are you asking me? How should I? Let's not talk about it anymore. We'll just wait and see what happens. Alright? Let's see if Jira and Luffy are awake yet. Jara, Lufia, are you awake? I'm coming in. Ah, is it morning already? Let's get moving, let's go. It's too early to shout out, bro. Good morning, Kulia. Good morning, Lufia. Sleep well? Mm. How's your head? Okay, it doesn't hurt now. I'm fine. Good. Aren't you gonna ask me? What? My memory. Don't you want to know if my memory's returned? You don't remember a thing, do you? No, but do you trust me? It doesn't matter. You're Luffy. You don't have to remember anything. Will you? Do you trust yourself? Thanks, I'm fine. Will you? What will we do now? Doom Island is floating in the sky. The professor said the falcon can fly. Let's go to the lab three. So that's the thing that just happened. It's not true. It's impossible. Incoming. Also, more parallels drawn to uh, to Lunar. That's our tower. Surrounded by a toxic marsh and lots of monsters. Sounds like a fun time. So what do you think about all this, J-pop? story in terms of twists, especially when this game was developed, I, you know, I think it's great because they don't really foreshadow this too hard, right? Yeah, there, there is definitely a lot more foreshadowing going on in uh, Lunar. Like, so it's like, go, go ahead. Honestly, like, it is kind of a surprise to me that Lufia is possibly a sinister one. Possibly. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> yes, and it, it... Yeah, I... This wasn't... This part of the story uh, wasn't beaten over the dead horse, and... It's... Yes, it's sweet that main character, MC, uh, you know, you are still you, we've been together forever, and, you know, the, yeah, it, it is, nice. uh, you know, anime trope, you are who you are, you know, that doesn't change, and all that stuff, yeah. um, so, it's, I, I mean, I, I I think it's great. I I I think in terms of um, it's maybe not so great for Luffy. Well, you don't know that. You don't know that. There's still some mysteries that uh, probably need to be solved, but we probably don't have a whole lot more uh, time to figure out these mysteries. It's 
Well, I'll hold off. If my memory serves me correctly, um, a couple statements about this I should hold on to. Fair enough. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's like, oh, but he says this, you know, I, I can't possibly, you know, deny it because I saw the statue, and of course we know... Uh, I'm gonna call him Amon, uh, that's because my childhood mispronunciation, you okay. know, and Gates, and, like, okay, yeah, we know what the Sinistrals are, so what about this one, and, uh, I mean, I think they could have done a little better than, she was revived 16 years ago. Hey, Luffy, 16? Like, okay, yeah. All right. We hear what you're saying, you know, and it... The, the reveal was a bit on the nose, uh, but the reveal actually happening is... I, I think it's great. I think it's great. And it kind of brings, uh, it, it, it kind of wonders because, yes, you are the MC, but the game title is Lufia. So what does this mean? You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Spoilers, Jaren is a jelly elf. Uh, she's pretty jelly, <laughs> she's pretty jelly when Lufia's around, that's for sure. <laughs> Actually, anyway. Jaren makes Lufia the jelly elf. <laughs> uh, let's go back to lab 3, and we're probably going to be going right back to where we just were to go to, like, whatever, uh, Glasnar Tower, I think is what they were saying. But, uh, we probably need to unlock our next story flag here. Are you alright? I was so worried when I saw Doom Island rising in the sky. He escaped just in time. Professor. I know, Falcon can travel through the air, but you need power oil for that. Power oil? It gives great lift. You haven't used it because it's very dangerous. Where is it? Should be for sale in April. Go and buy some. I'll head for Fredaria. Fredaria? Lab 4 is there. It's the only place where you can refit Falcon. Fredaria is due south. I'll go on ahead. Come see me, come see me when you get the, the power oil. Well, actually, we already have the location for Ephra for Warp, so I guess we can go for a little bit longer. I thought it was going to send us, like, to the tower or something. shop. I can find it. No, it's not there. Great booze and Arabus. Goodness gracious, great booze and nervous. I think a yeah, grand blade is what um, is what Coolio just had, and is what um, Agro has now. He saw the latest thing. We already have those latest things. They sell it in Epra, but who sells it? Maybe this is not going to be as straightforward as I thought. And Zelda's called Zelda, and yet... 
And I, I, I like Zelda. He's a pretty cool guy. So strength and doesn't afraid of anything. Okay, but for real, who sells the pot of oil? Is it here and I just missed it? I think that's what you were talking about. But I'll buy some just because I have none right now. Also interesting, there's float and then there's also float. I wonder if one of those floats is supposed to be the power oil. And like the idea is that you unlock the, the story the story thing and then you can buy the power oil. I hope that didn't like glitch or something. Oh there's another item shop here. Oh that's a problem. Where do you get power oil? The old cave north of town, but a large lion slide closed off the road recently. Man-made hedge tried to get through but couldn't pass. Where can I find this hedge? I think he's north of town. He's looking for a way through. Well, I guess we have our mission then. Uh, let's check. I may as well go to the end. We're gonna get that hundred gold back in like one fight anyway. So we gotta go uh, to that uh, oil cave to get some power oil so that we can get our boat to fly. Now that's gonna have to wait until next time. Um, not sure why. Oh, continue. No, there we go. Ah. Rest well. Prepare for the next adventure. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And I look forward to seeing you again, chat, next week. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to uh, Ganba. Zero, Tyrion for hanging out in chat, and to you, J-Pop, for hanging out in voice. Heyo! Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans, and we should be back to a full group this weekend, so um, look forward to that. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. We're going to continue our run of Lufia Restored, and I don't know that we have a whole lot left to do. Like, I don't know if it's just like get the po the power oil and then we can fly and then we just go to Doom Fortress and fight the Sinistrals. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh... I would need to check. Well, uh, let's leave it as a surprise for, for the viewers, but um, there is a possibility that we could finish next week. Let's put it that way. Maybe. All right. Huh? So, what was that? No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can follow me on co-host at coolumzx, and you can also support me on the bear pay as a recurring payment or buy me a coffee as a one-time payment at the links in chat present at this time. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio, if you don't know, along with J-Pop. Bye! And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>